Now, nothing could be more Spanish than bullfighting, but it appears that in Catalonia, which prides itself on being different from the rest of the country, that is precisely the problem. So they banned it. The last bullfight in the region takes place today in Barcelona's only functioning bullring, La Monumental. The local assembly passed the ban last year after pressure from animal rights activists. But was it really just a chance to get one over on Madrid? Well, one man who knows exactly what it's like to face a bull in the ring is Frank Evans. He used to be a professional bullfighter in Spain, where he's known as El Ingles, and he joins me now live from Salford. So is this an ethical or political ban? Is it about animal rights activists, or is it really Catalan independence that it concerns? Well, I think animal rights people have had a ride on the backs of the nationalists. Um, you should bear in mind, as you were saying earlier, that um, Catalonia has done away with the Spanish language. The official language of Catalonia now is Catalan. Uh, they don't have flamenco, they have the sardanias. Uh, they've done away with the Spanish flag, they've got their own flag, so they're obviously going to get rid of bullfighting and all things Spanish that they can. Um, it's not a thing of the northeast of Spain, it's not natural to it. It's a natural, I think, bullfighting in Barcelona, the rugby league is in Cornwall. And uh, the fact that the animal rights people have managed, in all credit to them, they've managed to get the, the activity banned in Catalonia, I don't think they should get carried away and think it will happen anywhere else in Spain. How do you justify it, though? I mean, I think I'm right in saying that in, in most bullfights, six bulls get killed. I mean, they're tortured to death over 20 minutes. How do you justify that cruelty? Well, we don't torture the bulls for over 20 minutes, as you're saying. But it's a uh, slow that's what death, animal rights isn't it? people will say to you. No, it's a very quick death. The, the death takes place when the matador places the sword and within seconds the bull is dead. Uh, don't be hypocritical because in this country we kill 50% of our animals by the halal method, which is without stunning the animal. So um, I think the kill in the bull ring is just as quick as any other civilised country. But the bull is chased round the ring. I mean, that's very different from slaughtering animals for food, isn't it? No, nope, the other way around. The bull chases the man round the ring. The man stands still and the bull does the chasing. The only thing in the bull ring that has uh, no rules placed upon it is the bull. The man has lots of rules that he has to adhere by, and uh, one is certainly not running away. It is the case, though, isn't it, that there's been dwindling public support uh, for this. You know, the audiences have been going down. So, really, there isn't much appetite for it in Spain. Well, I'm sorry to keep <laughs> disagreeing with what you're saying, but uh, until the last two years, the bullfight sold more tickets uh, than soccer, to give you an idea of But what about the last really two is, years? Where it's popular. What about well, the last two years? We've got a massive recession taking place in Spain, and it's not just bullfighting that's seeing dwindling crowds. It's everything in the construction industry, the restaurant industry, the hotels. Spain is empty. There is nobody there. They're in a, a massive recession. So bullfight, the bullfight is obviously suffering like everything else. But it's not because of any reasons that you might think that the animal rights might tell you it is. It's because Spain is in recession. Just briefly, is there anyone at this late stage trying to overturn this ban? I believe there is a, a movement to try and get it overturned, but really, the, I mean, I'm pro bullfighting, but I have great respect and admiration for the Catalan people. I've lived in Catalonia. They're as kind and generous as any other people can be, and really, if they really don't want the bullfight, I'm quite happy for them to ban it. Frank Evans, uh, El Inglis, I should say, thank you very much. Uh, now, it's back to Krishnan at the Labour Party conference in Liverpool.